Hi guys and welcome back to Crazy Snake Lady's channel. Uh, you guys requested two vlogs a week, so here's two vlogs a week. I'm just gonna do a little one today. I'm gonna show you these crazy monkeys. So these are my two adult giant African land snails. They are a jade morph, so they're not the colour you'd find in the wild. <laughs> these two are about a year old now. I love them, I think they're gorgeous. Um, but I don't just have two. I also have all of these babies. I've just cleaned them. So as you can see, they're nice and shiny and beautiful. So I've just given them their bath. It's really important to keep these giant African land snails clean. Um, because where I've got so many, I'm just going to pop these guys in their tank two seconds. My hands are dry. So where I've got so many in one tank and the babies climb all over the adults, obviously the adults get covered in poo quite a lot. So every day I do wash my adults down, same as the babies. Keeping two African land snails is not as hard as keeping 140 like I do. I was the crazy child when I was little and I kept boxes and boxes of garden snails. Yeah, I was that crazy kid. Let me know if any of you guys were the same and also kept random poor wildlife. I am very glad that my parents stopped me from keeping anything too big. So I'd have like a couple of tubs of snails, wood lice, worms, you know, the standard. I was weird. But hey, it's led to the amazing collection I have today. Anyway guys, so I've just put the adults back. I have their food already. I'm going to flip the camera around and I'm going to show you guys what I've been feeding them today. I'm also going to show you guys their setup and then I'm going to show you guys the mad babies, alright? So give me two This sex. is their tank. So my guys are in about a two foot tank. Um, they've got some carrot heads on the end here. They do grow a little bit, but they don't last long, let's face facts. They get eaten. So my two adults are in there at the moment. Oh, and a baby. Um, they've got three cuttlefish on the back of their tank. Hey. Um, it's really important to make sure that your snails have plenty of calcium, to make sure they've got nice strong shells, which obviously these guys do. Solid as a rock. Hello. So my two adults are actually called Piglet and Eel. I believe this one is Piglet, because Piglet is a little bit more confident than Eel. Eel was over there. Right, so I've got all their food ready here. It's all been washed. So today they have got runner beans, carrot, and some lettuce. I don't feed them too much lettuce because the adults, it can make them bloat. But the babies do eat a lot of lettuce where they're only little. Uh, the babies are about three months old now. So I tend to scatter feed my snails. Um, it just saves on competition with food where there's so many of them in here. Um, they will get all of this. Um, they also do use it to hide in. Hence why I put so much in. Um, at the moment they are running low on substrate. I am waiting for my order to come in, unfortunately. Hence why they've only got about an inch. I like to have about three inches of bedding in here. Um, let's pop some carrot in for them. So it all gets scatter fed. Um, I tend to put the carrots and stuff on top of the lettuce. It just stops it getting dirty. Um, I will pile on my fresh carrot heads in the end here. Sorry if the filming's not great guys. I am looking into getting some better stuff to film with. I do just film with my iPhone 7 Plus at the moment. So you, I am getting there. So you'll have to bear with me a little bit. They do have a little water bowl in here. That's more just to make sure they've got enough water. Uh, the humidity is really good and high in here. Uh, snails are great. Really easy to keep. Um, obviously, like I said a minute ago, it's a lot easier to keep one or two than it is to keep the two adults and the 140 odd babies that I've got at the moment. So that should do them. We'll put a little bit of lettuce over this side of the tank, just more for them to hide in because they are running low on moss. I've usually got this side of the tank is usually full of moss um, and this side is usually just full of bedding. But like I said a minute ago, I'm waiting on my order to turn up. Um, so I'll probably do a video once it's here showing you guys how I completely clean these guys out and obviously they're proper set up with the right amount of bedding in there. Adults off up the side. 
Right, so I'm gonna pop all the babies back in in a second, and I'll be right back with you guys. Uh, there we are, guys. There's all the babies back in the tank. I like to spread them out a little bit. Don't worry if you see any of them upside down. They will right themselves. Uh, the adults are currently enjoying some cuttlefish. I do put the adults back first and then the babies on top. It's just easier that way. Um, so, giant African land snails. Obviously, these are jades. Uh, they come in loads of different morphs now. They are really easy to keep. They like about room temperature, so from 20 to 25 degrees, so you don't always need a heat mat if your house is nice and warm. Uh, uh, that's a bit better angle for you guys. They like the humidity quite high, about 50%. Obviously, easy setup. I've got these guys in a big glass tank. I've also got a smaller tank over there with five in at the moment for a friend of mine. It's just easier because then they've been separated since they hatched because she picked them out for her little girl. Uh, they are amazing. I love watching these little guys. These guys aren't next to the snakes and everything. They are next to my TV, hence why I'm filming the other side of my sitting room. These guys are lush. They're not everyone's cup of tea. But I do think they're quite cool to watch. Right, guys. I'm going to give you a little update on the praying mantis as well and tell you guys what the name was if you haven't already seen on the Instagram. So let me just sort these guys out, put them back, and then I will grab the mantis and I will release, reveal, sorry, his name. I'll be back with you. So guys, here he is, the little mantis. So you guys came up with the name on Instagram and he is Casper. So he's Casper, the golden mantis. He's lovely. He's feeding for me, which is great. He took a meal for me two days ago. He settled in lovely. I'm looking for a new tank for him because I don't like the setup I've got for him at the moment. It's not the best. Um, he's gorgeous. Very inquisitive little guy. I'm looking into getting a few more now as well. I have fallen in love with the manis. This is my first one. He's gorgeous. I but I will be looking into some more, so keep an eye out for that. I'm going to pop him back in his tank. There you go, buddy. Right, so as you guys requested, you wanted me to do two vlogs a week. So I'll probably be releasing one on a Wednesday and one on a Saturday. I will have to confirm that with you guys. i just got to sort out my work schedule and when is going to be easiest for me to film. I have been overwhelmed with the support, guys, and I can't thank you enough. Let me guys know what you want for the next vlog. I'm thinking one of the pythons, and I'll go into a little bit more detail on why I actually got my pythons. Because uh, they were the ones who started the collection. And then I'll go into a little bit more detail into the rescues I've done. Obviously, I'll keep you updated with the tarantulas and everything else that's going on. But I just want to thank you guys so much for everything that you've done over the last couple of weeks. It's been insane. I can't believe it. Uh, keep smiling, guys. It's infectious. Everyone loves it. Keep spreading the love of reptiles, guys. They're not monsters, they're beautiful animals. I hope you enjoyed this little clip into keeping snails and the update on Casper. Uh, let me guys know if you want me to do like a time lapse of me cleaning them out. Um, it does take quite a while. It takes me about half an hour to do all of them. But let me know if you want to do like a time lapse of me doing that just so you can see what goes into that. Uh, thank you again for watching. Don't forget to give us a subscribe and a thumbs up. Have a beautiful day, guys. Thanks. Bye.